I came, I saw that, et tu Bruce. <gasps> or you having grape sucking skirt wearing Walker! Homo Orientus! <laughs> Stop it! Julius and Bruce, you have to accept each other's differences and celebrate them. Otherwise, someone's getting a plague of locusts in their undies. Now say sorry and shake hands. Ooh, I had a dream! I know, Martin, it's all right. Good God, can't we all just get along? Good question, Angelita. Right up there with why did I make wasps? Drivers, bloody immigrants, there goes the neighborhood. I'm a K1W1 from the land of the long white cloud. I'm a K1W1, you rice eaters. Come on. They remind you of anything? Hey, hey, yeah. Excuse me, Miss Gray. Boys, this is our new student, Wong, from Hong Kong. Please make him feel welcome at St. Sylvester's. We only get one new student a year. Good morning, Wong from Hong Kong! Wait. Brother Ken, can I perform the waggly knee dance of welcome? <sighs> yeah, I reckon you fellas would uh, be appreciated. Not like those bloody thick old Australians. Well, if you must, Abercrombie. I come from a land down under. Yeah. Women gone, down there. I sing Abba now. Hey, ah, Madi Wong. Wow, wow. They must be from a rival takeaway store, and Wong's copying how they make their cat fritters. <laughs> What's wrong, Wong? <laughs> <laughs> Just whack off. You wouldn't understand. What? I wouldn't understand. Well, bloody Asians! They never share their business with nosy people. No. Oh, hey, eh, check out your fella's new car. Hey, hey, what the? And if you break any rule, you have to skull or drink as much of your drink as you can in one go. Whoops, I talked. Consume. Dad, don't you think you should have asked us before letting foreigners in the house? I'm gonna give him a hiding. Hey, you! Piss off! Stupid boy! As our new Asian homestay, Wong will be paying the rent. You can sleep in the new rumbus room I built in the front of the house. Dad, it's a tent! It's a rumbus room! It's a bloody tent! It's a bloody rumbus room! How did you get the homestay agency to place Wong in a stink house like this, Al? You Maris are so rude! They were actually quite amenable. Hey, mate! Just in time. I was just finishing a spot of housekeeping. Make sure you give him noodles occasionally and teach him about life and morning side. I'm going to the pub. I may be some time. You took their room out. Why don't you go and do some fractions? Whack you! I'll be in my car listening to my stereo since you don't have one. Car? OK, we'll come with you, but we're not boys, OK? We're not. So, Wong, <laughs> um, besides making rice, what do young Chinese people like to do? Sell takeaways, wear glasses, ride bikes, bind feet, invade to bed, do long division. I know what I'd like to do. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Like losing my religion. Straight out of money, son. Quizzing my fucking Nivalia. And the Wichita line, man, is still on my mind. Did you see Lisa? Yes, that's all you saw. Is that why you're angry? I wasn't angry, yo. Hey, Wong, can I use your phone to ring my pen pal in Mauritius? Sure. Wong, how come you left Hong Kong for Morningside? Well, since you haven't tried to rob me, I'll tell you. My father invented chopsticks for Westerners that have spoon and fork bits on the end for when they get frustrated using chopsticks. 
the other chopstick makers didn't like this. They liked that Asian people abroad get to laugh at the Westerners using chopsticks and getting RFI. They warned my father to stop, but he wouldn't. Things got heated. My parents sent me here to be safe. Oh, and I was running with gangs and mugging old ladies. Give me your bag, you stupid witch! Wow, represent, brother. So you're from the streets too, Wong. You can live with us after all, Wong. There's just an initiation thing you have to do first before you can join our gang. <laughs> Go on, bro. It's traditional here. You whip off Kawi Mancha! You know, I used to think islanders were inefficient and uneconomical, but now I see that's not a bad thing. And we used to not like Asians, but now we see that your people make yummy food and you're loaded. I, I've never felt so needed. I will buy an assortment of electrical appliances and a mobile for my new family as a sign of appreciation. Yes! Who put this damn motor feature here? Oh, it's Fong Shui, Dad. Wong said it'll bring us good luck. Bloody sit Feng Shui. I'm going to the back to sell some of our appliances. I may be some time. Go fix it, Valia, because you're the youngest. Wong's the foreigner. I pay for all this. Oh, you don't live, don't live here. Don't live here. <sighs> what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grace. Ah! Hey, hey, what the? Someone should check on Valiao. He probably got tired and went to sleep. Gosh, these Asians are so stealth-like. Oh, it's because of all the rice they eat. Makes them sticky, y'all. Damn it! The grasshopper will be angry. <laughs> Who's the grasshopper? Silence! Who's the grasshopper? Silence! What's this grasshopper? I said silence! It's a secret Asian staff. The grasshopper is the baddest Chinese warlord since Ming the Merciless. They say back in China, the young grasshopper would be head enemies and lightly saute them with ginger and a garlic before stuffing them in the pork bun. It's a grasshopper. <gasps> Rodeo, he doesn't look like the firstborn son of a wealthy Hong Kong industrialist. We got the wrong one. I can see that. Ha <laughs> <laughs> he said we got... I know what he said. You better hope Wong's parents pay up for you. I'll be back in the morning. Spot ya. Grasshopper! Your English is really good. Third generation Kiwi, mate. Now, be quiet, Grillo. I have to study for my engineer exam. <laughs> so the note says, we got Wong, pay 100,000, 100,000 dollars. Don't tell the white devil police or we'll kill him. We'll call with further instructions. Okay, thanks, Constable Barber Bieber. Bye. Oh, the police said no one really cares about islanders, but to call back if any other ethnicities get kidnapped. I suppose we have to wait for them to call us. Ah, young Mantis. You like Amy Tan? Yeah, her first book's a touching account of relationships between mothers and their daughters and a fascinating insight into another immigrant experience. Not just a silly little bunger. I read it on the back. Ah, brari, useless coconuts! Don't be racist! Our phone's cut off. Dad spends all his money on horses. We rule in money on his kidnapping. He's eat too much food. Then he can pull his weight. You're on rice duty, kid. I'll teach you how. Now, how do we get in touch before I kill you? Capricorn, you'll soon be embroiled in a kidnapping drama where life and death are at stake. Oh gosh, these horoscopes are so general. What does it say about cancer? Hey! 
Hello? You won't have the money, so get $100,000 of Wong's parents. If you tell anyone, we kill Vale. We'll call back later with detail. Have a nice day. Dad, what are we going to do? I have to drink to forget. I may be some time. Good luck, boys. Don't worry, Valera. You'll be fine. We just have to stay frosty. Maintain our radio silence. Lucky Wong's parents are loaded, eh, Wong? Ow. Peking Ducks ready. How's the rice? Mmm. Mmm. Nice texture and consistency. Be a shame to waste you. What? But why would you want to do that, Grasshopper? I'm not yet ready to shuffle off this mortal coil. Relax. It's only if Wong's parents don't pay. <laughs> Sorry, my parents can't pay. What? I have to cover my own kidnapping costs now. I've spent my allowance on appliances for you guys. I'm broke till next month. Sorry. No! My brother's gonna die! <laughs> what are you doing, Mac? Shh, child, just, just let it out. We're here, we're here for you. Where are you going? Valera, I'm making a quilt of remembrance where every patch represents a significant event in Vale's life. What did he do after he was born? Nothing! You could just make it a plain bedspread! I, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll leave you alone. Valea, I know who has Vale. That guy who you saw me arguing with at the school gates. And you're gonna do nothing after we let you into our house! I'm paying for this whacking house, buddy, and I'm not gonna do nothing. In China, I was member of Secret Kung Fu Society, the pesky wagon. I will train you and your minds and body so they are ready for the fight. Then we can go get Vale. The fight ahead will be forward with danger. You must let go of your western sphincter. Oh, this is lovely. So graceful. <laughs> you must be hard as an ocean, as angry as a sea cucumber. The queen stands on one leg, but what use is that if he is an amputee? Like sand through the hourglass, so is the sand on the beach. Can we hurry? I'm freezing. We are ready for our rescue mission. I pity the fool who stand in our way. Morning side for rife. Morning side for rife. What the hell are you doing? Remember, it's fushu lai before someone goes all except after guan shi. Your Chinese calligraphy sucks. I've only been learning for half an hour, grasshopper. Excuses. Always excuses with you people. Table tennis. What's that? First to seven. Best of 15. No! Just admit that not all Asians are good at table tennis. I'll admit you to bed with no stir fry puppy fetus rice. Didn't want your stir fry stink puppy fetus rice anyway. I like your little cricket. But I'll kill you if I have to. You see if I don't. <sighs> Sifu, I'm afraid. Ooh. Young disciple, at the end of the day, it is night time. Well, yeah, but how does that stop Grasshopper from killing me? Morning side blind shot. Keep your eye on your opponent, not just her ass. Not just her ass. Not just her ass. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. I am watching you like the hawk. I won't relax my guard just because your brother was kidnapped. How did you know about that? I needed the money, and the women of Morningside had the right to know how lonely it is for me. And pew, 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 pew. We interrupt oh. our routing hippos to cross live to Morningside, where angry residents are on the brink of a race war following the kidnapping of a young Samoan boy by Asians. Political leaders don't actually care about the boy, but are using the situation to spread misinformation about immigration. Leader of the populace say anything party, red white guy, has chimed in as usual. Now, I'm not racist, but those MSG-guzzling third-world refugee visitors are stealing our jobs and homes. We'd better do something, Wong. We'll split up. Me and Valera will go to Morningside East, the west of you. Stand by. I know where we can go to get some information. Hello? We told you to tell no one. That was a very stupid thing to do. You're lucky Vali makes good rice, or he'd be dead already. However, we now want the money tomorrow, or we're buying a rice cooker and he dies. <gasps> Go.
grasshopper. I bought the kid these new chopsticks for his last meal before we kill him. What's that? Get those monstrosities away from me. He can use proper chopsticks like the ones my father makes, just like everybody else. Hey, Wong. Everybody here looks the same. I'm over here, Valer. What you? My source is a master from the Pesky Dragon Society. Everyone goes to the sky. If he doesn't know, no one will. Wong, your friend has been kidnapped by the grasshopper and her ruthless gang. You've been reading tea leaves again, old man? No, they were talking about a karaoke the other day. Are we too late, old man? Meets Curry Shadow at Morningside Beach at midnight. He'll hoot like an owl and we'll tell you more. Thanks, old man. Good luck. Now walk off. Damn anti-Asian sentiment. It's so predictable. This kitchen's getting too hot. Time to relocate. So you let me go? We would, but you'd finger us. Ooh, yuck, no. To the police, I mean. So you have to die. <gasps> Even if Wong does pay up, surely you see the logic. Yeah, I suppose. You'll die at dawn. Sweet dreams. There's Curry Shadow. <coughs> That's not how else go, you dick. It's... <coughs> Part-time job. Kids to feed, dairy to run. Valet is in a tiny downtown apartment. Here is the address. Why are you helping us? I love you, Satisha. Pew, pew, pew. Come on, pew. Just pay your overdue account. It is time, disciples. Maybe we should wait till tomorrow after a good night's rest. Oh, a text. I'm never gonna dance again. Yeah, guilty feeling. Get the... Getting cleared at Durin. Oh, that doesn't make sense. They must have drugged them or something else. Shut up, Jeff. It says getting killed at dawn. Hope you're coming soon. If not, then latest, fellas. Morning side for life. It's from Valley. Oh, I'll text him back. Sorry to hear that. Hope you're well. I'm Don't to... be a dick, Mac. We have to go get him. I have to wash my hair. I have to wash Samson. I have to wash my ass. Valley's my brother. Our friend. He's always been there for us. Oh, well, I'll just be putting it off for another year. Oh, but yeah, it's your call. We're ready, Wong. Let's take Jeff's stink ass and go get my brother! You used to give me roses. <clears throat> I, Dad, I, Valera. If today is indeed my day to die, then that's really stink. And I guess I'll be seeing you soon, Mum. And God. Stop crying. You're getting snot everywhere. It's not a good look. But it's just not fair. Sure, but when your number's up, your number's up. I had a scary dream. All right, Martin. God, they're all going to get hurt trying to save him. <laughs> well, I suppose it would be a stink end to the story. Let me think. Who is it? A gang of kung fu experts, and there's heaps of us. Give us valley. Valley, valley. Bro, I'm in here. Yeah, I'm told of us, and some of us got stinky asses. And we know Tai Chi. <gasps> He's our mate. No, you dick. Tai Chi's that kung fu stuff Wong taught us. Oh. So you better just let him go. There's heaps of us, eh, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's heaps of us. Yeah. Oh, many of us. Yeah. Oh, get out of the way. Please, leave me alone. I have engineering exam tomorrow. Not so fast. <gasps> um, what are you guys doing? Cool, eh, bro? Wong taught us. That bloody Wong. I knew we were doing it too slow. Those chopsticks. My father's. My family also make chopsticks, normal ones. This will allow me to kill two birds with one stone. I was failing. You saved my life. Why? Well, I was actually trying to hit you, but I missed. Thanks, little Weta. But you must still die. But I don't hit girls, it's mean. <gasps> Morningside blind shot. 
Morning side blind shot. Look out, Grasshopper! Behind you! Whatever. Ha <laughs> 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 on, bro. The morning side blind shot works every time. Shot, bro. We wasted it. Let's call the police. No. We'll meet again, little witter. Why'd you let her go? She was gonna kill you. Yeah, but she's a hot Asian chick, and they deserve a second chance. Yeah, they do. Pew, pew, pew. My family is coming to live in Morningside. This is my mother, Ma Wong, and this is my twin brother, White. White, these are my good old Kiwi mates. I can't tell the difference between White and Wong. Same. <laughs> See how much the children can teach us? You have to learn to live with other cultures. There's no other planet they can go to. Immigrants can't live without them. Can't throw them to the lions. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen your face once. Your eyes went so wide. <laughs> OK, I show you a photo on my mobile phone. Yeah, I flip it over and look at that. Now this one, this one's of Valer. I was showing him the technique that our dad taught us. And this my other Kiwi mate, this dad Papello. And, and, and he's looking really rich. And you know what? It's funny to see the monkey walk upright. This one here, this is some girls that we met at a nightclub. And they were all dancing. And chill, Jeff the Mari, he take his shoe off. All of a sudden, no one want to dance with us anymore. Now this one, this photo here, is a one piece room. And it was so cool. Everyone was well, was so jealous of it. But they, it was a bit small for me and my Taiwanese friends. Yeah, Zach Xing and Yang Fu. No, no, that's his sister. But she was being naughty that day. And this New Zealand on Air program makes great Kiwi shows. Thank you, New Zealand on Air. And TV Fui. You are so good. I'll buy your company.